Bonjour à tous. Uh, I will talk in English. So first, uh, thanks the organizers for allowing me to present here. Um, I will mainly talk about something related to the optimal code embedding problem, which is based on the joint work with Xiao Lu Tan and Isaac Tuzi. Okay. Uh, the uh, the code embedding problem and to present some probability distribution on real line as the law of a Brownian motion stopped at some stopping time. So that's to say, given some Brownian motion defined on some probability space and a centered probability matter mu, the problem consists in finding a stopping time tau such that the the stopped process by tau is uniformly integrable, and uh, the random variable b tau has a given law mu. Such uh, stopping times is usually called an embedding or a solution to the problem. Roughly speaking, um, there are two formulations of the problem in the existing literature. In the first one, we seek the stopping time with respect to the Brownian filtration. I mean, the filtration uh, F is a natural filtration generated by the Brownian motion. In the second one, um, we introduce some additional randomness and we consider a larger filtration for the um, stopping times. This problem is initialed by scroll hold and the various solutions are achieved afterwards. A very holistic idea is the following. They compare a realization of a Brownian path to another well-controlled process, usually depending on the Brownian motion, and use the later to decide when to stop the former. So if we take this well-controlled process phi to be t, a deterministic process, we get the root solution. If we take the running maximum, we get azimuth York solution. And if we take the local time, we get Valois solution. So more interestingly, uh, several solutions enjoy uh, optimality to be defined uh, in the following. We take the root solution, for example. So this root solution is constructed through some broad site, which is called a barrier. A barrier is a broad site in R2 such that uh, it is closed in right. So let me see for any element of this site. So we take any element uh, that is right, left, that lies right to this given element. So it belongs again to this site. So such a bar set is called a barrier. So root constructed this solution by, some, by, by constructing some, some, some well-defined barrier this way as the first heating time, okay? And it is shown by Roost, Roost solution maximize this optim solve this optimization problem defined this way. So the Roost embedding is the maximizer for this problem among all the embeddings um, to the given probability mu, okay? Uh, but however, uh, it is natural to ask if we consider some no Markovian functional phi. I mean, it is path dependent uh, is of this is form. Could we study systematically this optimization problem? And we wonder whether the optimization problem, given and the different formulations, I mean the strong formulation and the weak formulations are uh, equivalent in general. And moreover, what we wonder whether we may construct it for a general functional phi uh, as an optimizer. If we not, can we derive some characterization for this optimizer? Okay, uh, the re main result of this talk is twofold. First, we give some formula f weak formulation of the optimal score embedding problem and prove the corresponding duality. And the second 
Secondly, uh, we derive some principle which is called monotonic state principle, allowing to characterize the optimizer via its geometric support. Okay, let's go. Uh, to formulate uh, this problem, we introduce some space uh, continuous functions starting at zero, and we define the enlarged space omega bar by the product of omega and r plus. So given this space omega bar, we define the canonical element bt um, defined this way. So then we introduce some filtration. The objective of to introduce this filtration is to ensure that the random element t is a, a stopping time with respect to this filtration. So roughly speaking, we construct some private space and then we will represent the embeddings, I mean the stopping times, using the probability measures on this space. Okay, uh, let p bar be the space of probability measures on this product space omega bar such that b is a Brownian motion, is an f bar Brownian motion and the measure and the process stopped by t is uniformly integrable. So for any given centered probability measure mu, we consider the subsite p bar of mu as the site of embeddings relative to mu. Okay. As for the optimization problem, um, we consider this problem for um, restricted class of functions, which are called non-anticipative. That means this functional depends the path up to up to t up to theta. So for such a non-anticipative function phi, the optimal scored embedding problem is defined as the maximum of this expectation over all probability measures p bar uh, in the site p bar from mu. Okay, this is the primary problem. So we wonder whether the optimizer exists and how to characterize this optimizer. So to do this, we first introduce is a dual formulation and then establish the required duality. So let lambda be the space of continuous functions defined on R with linear growth. And let Fb be the natural filtration of the Brownian motion B and P0 be the Wiener measure. So the dual problem is defined as following. Let H be the collection of some suitable process such that we may define this uh, stochastic integral. So we require some technical conditions for this H such that it it is supposed it is uh, unsure to be a super martingale. So define D by the couple lambda H such that this inequality holds P0 almost surely for all omega in the space omega. And then the dual problem is defined as the minimum of the integral of lambda with respect to mu uh, for all lambda H. Uh, belonging to this site D. Okay, so roughly speaking, for the primary problem, there are two kinds of, of constraint. First, the BT is required to have the given law mu, and second, as B is a broad motion and it's a martingale. So we penalize respectively these two kinds of constraints by introducing a stochastic row, a super martingale, and uh, some some function depending on omega t. So assume that this functional is upper semi-continuous with respect to the first component, uh, with respect to the second component, theta. And the result is that there exists an optimizer, p bar star, and moreover, this duality holds. OK, what is the main issue to have this duality? With the help of this duality, we may revisit the monotonicity principle which is introduced by Beckley-Bock, Hosman, and Cox uh, in 2014. 
and we provide a new proof uh, using this GRT and the um, cro op optional cross section theorem. Um, moreover, uh, with as every continuous marking is a time changed Brownian motion, uh, we may use this GRT result to study a class of continuous time marking optimal transport problems um, to derive the so called Konovich GRT. Okay, to describe the Monster C principle, we need uh, the definition of the so called stop go pair. So, what is the stop go pair? Um, it's, a couple, it's a couple of elements in omega bar such that the path determines, the two paths determine at the same level. It's called omega theta is equal to omega prime theta prime. And moreover, this, this property is satisfied for this pair. I mean, if for any new path which is not reduced to be zero, it has some strictly positive length. So for any path E omega bar, if we paste it uh, to F here, F represents omega prime and G represents omega. So if we paste this path along F, it is always optimal to paste it to uh, G. So that's, that means we should, it is, as it means, according to the, our optimal criterion, it is always optimal to paste the, the any path uh, to, to uh, omega bar prime than, than omega bar. Okay. Then for every subset of omega bar, we define the another site, um, gamma inf, such that each element could be extended uh, strictly in gamma. Okay, with all the notations above, uh, we may provide the main result. It's called Monsisi principle. So if there exists some optimizer and the there is no duality gap, then there exists, we may find some brush site gamma such that uh, the optimizer is supported on gamma. And moreover, the intersection of the site of SG, SG is a collection of all stop go pairs with this product is empty. So it is easy to interpret this, 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 uh, this equality. So lose this thinking. If, if not, if we may find some, some, some element in this product of these two sites, such that it belongs to the stop, uh, to the site of stop go pairs. So imagine we may cut uh, the, 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 the part, uh, the part, the every, um, the every path uh, along this element, along the element belonging to gamma inf and paste it to the, to the gamma. So we may again optimize, I mean, again, optimize to improve the value of the expectation. So this is, uh, this contradicts to the optimality. So, um, so that's, that's, uh, that's uh, so with, um, with the duality, uh, with the duality result we have obtained, uh, we, we may prove this result um, in, a pr uh, in, another, in another method of a completely different nature. Okay, so uh, let, let's go back to the root solution and see how to interpret its construction by this principle. So uh, let if we pick, uh, if we take gamma as um, the support of the optimizer p bar star, and then uh, we define the the we may easily compute by the concavity of the factor phi uh, to the, to the, for the form of the site of stop go pairs. It could, it's easy to deduce that SJ is written this way. 
and by the Montesi principle, that this intersection is empty, so we may deduce easily that uh, the barrier must be written uh, in this form. So this can interpret um, the um, root solution. And as far as I know, all the embeddings in that enjoy the optimality in the literature can be interpreted by this unifying principle. OK, uh, to finish, I would like to make some comments. First, um, because um, I claim that there exists another, uh, another site, SG star, that depends on the optimizer, such that uh, this inclusion holds. That's to say we find some bigger, um, bigger site, uh, SG star, uh, than SJ, such such that uh, this this um, this intersection is empty, and moreover, we may extend our analysis to the multiple marginal case. That is to say, with a slightly modified formulation, we may consider a m um, multiple uh, scroll hold embedding problem for. Um, vector of marginals. Obviously, this vector must to f is required to satisfy some condition, which is called a peacock processus pour l'autre convex croissant in French. So for such a given um, vector of marginals, we may study equally the problem uh, in the same way and establish uh, the similar results. And the last comment I would like to make is uh, thank you very much. Merci. Des questions sur cet exposé? Yes. So some of these stopping times can be easily calculated or approximated, like the original Scorehood one or the Dubin's one or SMIOR. At least what I remember from the original root construction, it was based on a fixed point argument which was not really constructive. But maybe with uh, kind of these optimality considerations, you're able to uh, compute it. So you know, given a random variable x, suppose you want to compute what is the barrier with some approximation epsilon. Uh, are you, do you know how to do that? Um, actually, that depends on the very particular structure of this function uh, phi. If, for example, if phi is equal to uh, square, is x square or the square root of x, so the, the uh, explicit construction of such a barrier exists. Uh, but in general, yes, it is not. It's, it cannot be um, explicit, very explicitly constructed. If we consider just consider a strictly concave function phi. Uh, but uh, uh, afterwards, uh, it is this problem is studied by the potential potential theory and extended to the multiple marginal case. So in the recent paper of Cox and um, and Obloy and Tuzi, uh, where uh, this this the, the optimal embedding is constructed uh, in a similar way, but uh, the Using more technicals, um, so I want just I just want to emphasize that using this uh, unifying principle, we cannot compute. I mean, compute explicitly to for all the existing embeddings, but we may find so how it how it can be um, how it can be constructed. For example, for the Adi Mayor, uh, so we know there is some some increasing function, and for the Running uh, maximum. That the, the tau is the optimal embedding is defined as the heating time such that B T is equal to this one. So generally, for some very specific uh, example, the phi can be uh, calculated. So I mean, right. it can be uh, calculated for all examples. But using this criteria, we cannot re recover this the, the explicit form of this function phi. But we know. There must exist some increasing function. Merci beaucoup. <laughs>